Shakina, the Holy Spirit energy is an imprint, an encoding that is held by all. By Jillian Macbeth Louthan, www.thequantumawakening.com I am the essence, the blessing, the music of Shakina, that which dwells in the house of light. I come on the winds of time to allow you in trance into knowledge that goes beyond self and memory. Within what is known and unknown as the Holy Spirit, there are many dimensional descriptions. There are many doorways and interdimensional truths. Humanity believes that the Holy Spirit is but one being. There is a great pronounced diversification that lives within the house and dwelling of Holy Spirit. Each of you holds within you the personal breath of God. I come on this day to breathe that memory back into you. You each live within the outbreath of God. God breathed you into existence and the flesh that you are now. With the first breath that a baby takes, the Holy Spirit enters the child in fullness. The Holy Spirit does not dwell within the fetus during gestation. The Holy Spirit energy is an imprint, an encoding that is held by each individual on their journey through life. On the death of the individual, the last breath, the Holy Spirit is released back to source. It is a separate and different being than the spirit of the individual, but often when death occurs they leave as a twofold light. God inhales you back onto an into original light. You all ride the inhale, the wave of contraction back into a point of explosive expansion. As the universe inhales you each and every day a little more and a little more, you are being released of toxins, negativities, angers, blocks and memories that no longer serve your soul's evolution and soul's purpose. When you sleep your spirit exits the body and the physical biological unit is left to fend for itself with the help of a few large angelic beings. The spirit is connected by a cord of light and can always come back during any emergency. When you leave in spirit, when you slumber, no matter what time of day you move eloquently and easily and effortlessly onto the higher realms where you exist simultaneously. Even during the day you tarry off to the higher realms via the vehicle of daydreaming. The universe is cleansing many layers of your being, loosening and redistributing blocks so that can easily be dismissed on the next inhale of the Creator. In other words, all that is solid and dank and dark within you is breathed loving and exquisitely by the Prime Creator back into itself. The angers that have been keeping you down and stagnant will be lifted. The reason for the heaviness of self as of late has to do with the many portions of you that have gathered as a depository. They migrate to a magnetic point in your physical body. From this magnetic point, they will exit and be sent to Prime Creator. Not only will this be experienced within the physical body, but it will also be experienced within the planetary body, the planetary emotional body, and the planetary memory body. For Earth herself will be lifted out of the ever-clinging memory of the tar pit of death and annihilation that has happened throughout time. The Prime Creator, the Universe will escort this back into original source to be purified recycled and used again. The Creator is taking the thickness of the energies and birthing new universes. The atomic structure of light shifts in nature the Universe is taking from the quantum debris of man the thickest and darkest of stuff and bringing it home to the light allow it to form into a pure element that is beyond your measure of beauty. With this knowing allow this cosmic coagulation to happen within your body. You may have pains that come and go in the body, in the heart memories, in the heaviness of all emotion, but it gathers to be birthed anew into a new universe. So the very fabric of your being and all that you have been through time after time as well as all Mother Earth has endured, will be birthed into beautiful cellular structures of baby light and beginning life in another part of God, and you will be part of that. It takes more molecules to create anger, than it does a joy. It takes more molecules to hold disease within a body than it does to hold love. All that is holy is very light and non-fattening. I ask you to allow the Creator to breathe you in deeply. Feel yourself being lifted by this holy breath. 
allow the out-breath to bring you into the expansion that you so seek. As all of this is happening you may find a lightness of head and vertigo of nature. You may find emotional surges come forth to you in great tears and fears. You will feel the presence of the Holy Ones as they stand by your side. You will be alleviated of what has stuck to your soul as tar and feathers for so many existences. I am Shekinah, I leave on the winds of light.